Hi everyone, today we're going to study slope-intercept form of a line. Let us define slope-intercept form of a line. The equation of any non-vertical line can be written in slope-intercept form. This is the form y equals mx plus b. The m here is the slope and we can see that m is the coefficient of x. The b here is the y-intercept and we know that y-intercept has ordered pair 0, b. Let us have example 1. Determine the slope and y-intercept of this line, y equals negative 4 over 5x plus 7. The slope-intercept form is here, y equals mx plus b. From the slope-intercept form, we know that the coefficient of x is the slope, while the constant will be the y-intercept. Let us now collect the slope, and that is negative 4 over 5. While the y-intercept, we will take this 7, we will copy here, that will be the y-coordinate, and the x-coordinate will be always 0. This is our final answer. Let us have example 2. Express the given linear equation in slope-intercept form and identify the slope and y-intercept of this line 6x minus 5y equals 30. Our slope-intercept form is here. It gives us idea that the y must be alone on the left side. It means the variable x and the constant should be on the right. So we have the problem here, 6x minus 5y equals 30. We want to remove the 6x on the left side. What we'll do is to add negative 6x to the equation. It means to both sides of the equation. If we add negative 6x on the left side, the positive 6x here will cancel out. While on the right side, the negative 6x comes here. So on this line, we have now negative 5y equals negative 6x plus 30. And then, we want to make the y to have coefficient of 1. But in here, there is coefficient of negative 5, so we will divide the equation by the coefficient of y, which is negative 5. So we have here negative 5y divided by negative 5 equals the negative 6x over negative 5 plus 30 over negative 5. Then we will simplify further. We can now cancel the coefficient negative 5 and the divisor negative 5. So only y comes down here. And then the negative 6x over negative 5 will become positive 6x over 5. Then plus 30 divided by negative 5 is negative 6. On the next line, we can show that the x here has coefficient of a fraction. It can be 6 over 5 times x, while the plus and the negative 6 can be simplified into minus 6. And from here, we will now collect the slope and the y-intercept. For the slope, we will copy the coefficient of x, the 6 over 5. 
this is now the slope. And for the y-intercept, we will have this negative 6. We will put as the y-coordinate and the x-coordinate is always 0. This is our final answer. Let us have example 3. Find the equation of a line with slope m equals negative 5 over 8 and y intercept 0, 1. The slope intercept form is here y equals mx plus b. Then we will substitute now the values for the m and the y intercept, the b which is 1 respectively. So this is now y equals, the m is now negative 5 over 8 x plus 1, which is the y coordinate of the given point. So our final answer, y equals negative 5 over 8 x plus 1. Let us have example 4. Find the equation of a line with slope m equals 2 over 3 and y intercept negative 1. Draw the line. In this problem, the slope is given and for the y intercept, the negative 1 here represents the variable b. So the slope intercept form is here, the y equals mx plus b. Then let us now substitute the values. We have now y equals mx, the m is now changed into 2 over 3. Then plus the b which is negative 1. Then let us simplify further. We have now y equals 2 over 3x, then plus the negative 1, it becomes minus 1. So the equation of the line is y equals 2 over 3x minus 1. Now to draw the line, first let us collect the given the slope m is 2 over 3. The y-intercept here given is the negative 1, but we can translate this into an ordered pair 0, negative 1. We should remember that this y-intercept is a point of the line. Now let us draw our x and y axis. Then let us locate the point. Let us plot the point 0, negative 1. And the point is right here. Then let us find another point of the line so that we will connect it later. Then we will be able to graph the line. Using the slope 2 over 3, we will use the y-intercept as our reference point. Let us move two units going up. So from here, it goes one, two units. And from this point, we will go three units to the right. One, two, three. Then we will mark that point. Now we have two points on our X and Y axis. Then we will simply connect these points. And this is now the required line. This is the graph of the line y equals 2 third x minus 1. This is our final answer. I hope you learned something from this video. See you again next time.